nobody can actually fold a square piece of paper 10 times with only manual labor. And the reason behind that is exponential growth. What is exponential growth? Uh, and what is linear growth? So linear growth, we understand. Linear growth is one and then the next and the next and the next. So one plus one equals two, two plus one equals three, three plus one equals four, and it's as if it goes in, in line, you know. Slowly it increases in size. And that's what we humans are very good at understanding. But our brains are not able to understand exponential growth. Uh, that is something that evolution has not enabled us with. Ask with your friend or child or student, how many times do they think they can fold uh, a piece of paper? If you ask them, do you think you can fold a piece of paper over and over again half uh, 15 times, 20 times, or 25 times, for example. If you give them a range, they will oftentimes, they will choose a number somewhere in the middle. And so you can actually <laughs> uh, 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 trick in a way, if you will, the student uh, by asking them uh, a question that actually anchors a number uh, in their mind. <laughs> Can you imagine how many layers of paper do you have in here after the eighth fold? Give a guess. Maybe 30, 40, or 50 pages, or 60 layers of paper here? No. Actually, the answer is if you are able to fold it eight times, then it's two to the power eight. That's what you call exponential growth. It doubles every time. It's not Fold it very nicely, very uh, gracefully, if you will. But let's uh, calculate. So, first into two. Okay, one into two equals two. This is after the first fold. Second fold, third fold, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. After the eighth fold, the newspaper, this newspaper has turned into 256 layers of paper. Now 256 pages, if you will, smaller in size, but 256 layers of paper, which is actually, look at that. Now this is a book, a very thick book. How many pages do you think it has? Well, let me tell you, it has about 450 pages which means uh, one two there are in one leaf there are two pages right so it has about uh, 225 leaves of paper in here so it's difficult to imagine but look at that the thickness <laughs> the thickness of paper of this double spread newspaper after eight folds is as much as this thick book and so that's why it's impossible to fold it any further you can apply force but it's impossible to fold it and that's because it's exponential growth with each step it doesn't increase by one it increases by double the second uh, challenge if you will is Let's say you have unlimited power, okay, and you have uh, a piece of paper that is uh, stretchable to as much as you wanted it to. So how many folds of that paper do you need to fold so that the thickness, for example, the thickness here, after eight folds, it's as thick as this uh, piece of paper, this uh, book, which is about two centimeters, two and a half centimeters, I think. So, how many folds do you need to 
do so that the, the thickness is the same as the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Now remember, the distance between the Earth and the Moon is 384,400 kilometers. So first let's imagine that the paper is about uh, 25 GSM, which is about 0.025 millimeters. So when you fold it the first time, the thickness is 0.05 millimeter. You know what? Let's start all over again. Okay, let's start with that 0.025 times first fold, second, third, fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, okay, sixteen fold. So after sixteen folds, we have 1638.4 millimeter. Now let's change this into meters. 1.6384 meters. Around 1.6 meters. Now times 17 fold 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay. After 26 folds, we have 1,677.7 meters. Let's again change it into kilometers. 1.6777 kilometer. So after 26 folds, your this sheet of paper is actually 1.67 kilometers thick that's really thick okay let's continue times 2 okay that is the 27th fold 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So after 40 folds, you would have 27,487.79 kilometers. 41, 42, 43. After 43 folds, you will have 219,902.326 kilometers. Mind you, the distance between Earth and Moon is 384,400 kilometers. Now, as soon as you fold it the 44th time, it will become as thick as 439,804.65 kilometers which is which is actually bigger than this number that we have so by the time you fold this thin sheet of paper only 44 times only 44 times why I'm saying only is because you know our brains are not able to understand how exponential growth can actually lead to unimaginable numbers that's the that's the magic of exponential growth so that was today's uh, learning uh, exponential growth uh, can actually accelerate uh, in, in the ways that human mind human brain cannot comprehend actually back in the day uh, when I was in college, I, I read this book called Business at the Speed of Light by Bill Gates. Uh, Bill Gates talks about the inventor of the game of chess, uh, an Indian guy, because the king demanded that uh, there should be a game 
where only logic can win. So there's no nothing left to chance. So before before that you had the dice game. So you would you know uh, play the dice and uh, if you're lucky you get the good numbers and you win. So the king was very happy. He said he said okay, uh, tell me what you want. And the, the smart guy who invented the game of chess he says there are 64 blocks. So on the first blow, on first day I want only one grain of wheat. Then the second day. I, I want two grains of wheat on the second block and third day I want double of that which is four and the fourth day I want double of that which is eight and just double the number of grains uh, uh, every day I come to collect that uh, the next day just double the number of grains and that's all I want uh, until the 64th day and so after the 64th day uh, that's it that's all I need. Uh, you just keep on doubling the number of grains and I'll be happy with that. And the king said, oh, no, no problem at all. And he said, okay, uh, this uh, is granted to this great inventor. But very soon they came to know that all the grains in the kingdom uh, would not be sufficient. They will not suffice uh, for the, that quantity that you'll be needing by the time it reaches the 32nd uh, block. And so uh, the king then ordered that this person be put in jail because he tricked me. Right. How can you use it uh, <laughs> to to have a little fun? Now the thing is, don't use it in uh, to actually harm others financially or mentally or in any other way. It's just a it's just a fun trick and so always remember with great power comes great responsibility so uh, what you can do is and when your parents if you are a child or student ask you what do you want just ask them oh, all I need is a penny so double the number of uh, you know money that you gave me on the first day but keep the first day very small one rupee or one cent or one penny or one yen and uh, let's see if they can uh, continue to give you <laughs> double uh, the money that they gave you the previous day until the end of the month, which is 30 days. Uh, my hunch is they will not be able to do it. And let me tell you why. So on the first day you have one cent. On the second day you will be given two cents. The third day uh, you'll be given four cents. Fourth fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Uh, on the tenth day, uh, you, they, the, the parent or the friend or whoever has to give you 512 cents. Okay, now let's divide it by 100. That becomes $5.12. That's the tenth day. Now let's go to 15th. So 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th. On the 15th day, they need to give you 163.84 dollars. Okay, let's go to 20th day. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, on the 20th day, 5,242 dollars and 88 cents. By the 20th day, they owe you this 21, 22, 23, 24. They <laughs> they owe you eighty three thousand eight hundred eighty six dollars and eight cents, and by the twenty ninth day, two million six hundred eighty four thousand three hundred fifty four dollars and fifty six cents. In that crazy, so that's the power of exponential growth. You start with one cent on the first day. And this one cent increases to in the vicinity of 2.5 million dollars, which is a lot of money. So, uh, please have fun with this uh, exponential growth thing. Uh, be, be responsible. Don't misuse it. Uh, don't cheat people out of money or you know anything else uh, because just because you know 
uh, you are exposed to the power of exponential growth and they are not. Use it as a fun trick and then reveal it to other people. Help educate the world around you. Thank you so much for watching. As always, uh, please subscribe and spread uh, the word. Uh, please watch it as, as many times as you can. <laughs> and uh, please like and leave comments. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.